the product of the unit digit, the tens digit, and the hundred digit of the positive integer m is 96. What is the units digit of m? So let's think about this. The prime factorization of 96 turns out to be five factors of two and a factor of three. So there aren't that many combinations of three factors where all of them are one digit long. We could do four and eight and three. We could do four and four and six or two and eight and six. And those are really the only three triplets and then we could arrange them in any order to make the number M. So now we can look at the statement. Statement number one tells us that M is an odd number. Well, that's interesting. If M is an odd number, that necessarily means that the units digit is odd. Well, of all these possibilities, the only odd number is three. Three is the only odd factor of 96. So that means that the units digit must equal three. So this information is actually sufficient for deducing the actual numerical value of the units digit. So this statement, perfectly sufficient. Forget about statement number one. Now focus purely on statement number two. Statement number two tells us that the hundredth digit of M is eight. Well, we have a few different possibilities with eight. We could have eight, four, three. We could have eight, three, four. We could have eight, two, six. We could have eight, six, two. And so it turns out that there are a whole bunch of possibilities for what the unit digit is, given simply the value of the hundredth digit. So this statement by itself is not sufficient to deduce the value of the units digit. Statement number one is sufficient. Statement number two is insufficient. Answer choice A.